When your manly bits are not functioning the way that you want them to, or perhaps not feeling their best, then a trip to the doctor may be further enriched by a shift in mindset. As I mentioned in my last video, Listen to Your Pussy, which you can watch here, I believe that all of our physical ailments have an emotional root. So basically, if there is an emotion that you are experiencing but not expressing or trying to ignore or deny, if they are in there long enough, eventually they will find some way to manifest physically. Especially, especially when it comes to between the leg maladies. And although we do have pharmaceuticals and Western medicine options to help us with these issues, if it is a reoccurring problem, this might be an indication to you that there is something deeper going on and it might help to try to address the emotional root. So in this video, I am going to share with you what your prostate might be trying to tell you and your penis and your testes. The information that I'm about to share with you is taken from Louise Hay's book, Heal Your Body, and it is amazing. Louise Hay is one of the founders of the modern self-help movement. I'm not associated with her or the Hay House or her corporation in any way. I just think it's great. I literally have post-its on my mirror right beside me there of different affirmations that I say to myself every day and evening, depending on which part of my body is aching or giving me issues at that time. I will encourage you to take in these affirmations with an open mind. Again, sometimes the information is really not what we want to hear, but often it's because it's the stuff that we really need to hear. Also know that these affirmations are absolutely not not a substitute for medical treatment. They're more of a lovely additive. I'm going to be sharing five with you today. They all apply to the male body, but some of them also do apply to all bodies, female bodies. So if you don't have a penis, like that's okay. You can still watch this video. Number one, impotence. The probable cause, sexual pressure, tension, and guilt, social beliefs, spite against a previous mate, or fear of mother. The suggested affirmation, I now allow the full power of my sexual principle to operate with ease and joy. Number two, prostate. The probable cause, mental fears weaken the masculinity, giving up, sexual pressure and guilt, belief in aging. The suggested affirmation, I love and approve myself. I accept my own power I am forever young in spirit. Number three, testicles. The probable cause, masculine principle, masculinity. That one is pretty vague, but my best interpretation of it is that there is fear, guilt, or insecurity around the principles of masculinity. The suggested affirmation, it is safe to be a man. Number four, urinary infections. The probable cause, being pissed off, usually at the opposite sex or a lover, and blaming others. The suggested affirmation, I release the pattern in my consciousness that created this condition. I am willing to change. I love and approve of myself. And number five, Venereal disease, including gonorrhea, herpes, syphilis, and even AIDS. Probable cause. Sexual guilt. Need for punishment. Belief that the genitals are sinful or dirty. Abusing another. The suggested affirmation. I lovingly and joyously accept my sexuality and its expression. I accept only thoughts that support me and make me feel good. That's all I have for you for today. If you are experiencing any of the issues that I mentioned, please feel free to add these affirmations into your morning or evening routine and see if it can help give you a little bit of neural rewiring that will work in you and your body's favor. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, eat, squat, and come.